Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing how to go from a piece of scrap plywood to a state topographic map using a CNC router. I started out with Idaho and I'm doing Utah next since they're two of the more interesting state topologically, but really anywhere in the Rocky Mountains would come out nicely. I started out with the link from Thingiverse, which you can find in the video description below. This link contains not only 3D files, but a great tutorial on how you can create your own 3D files using USGS data and cut them out on a router. In Fusion 360, I imported the STL file and scaled it to the size I wanted. I then converted it to a solid using the mesh toolbar. As you can see, the profile edges of the STL are quite rough and tessellated. This would make it difficult to select a cutout path later, so I created a sketch for the toolpath to follow. Here, I had to move the model down a tiny bit since it wasn't intersecting my sketch plane. The intersecting sketch came out just as I expected, just as jagged as the model, so I created a second sketch with straight lines and used the original sketch as a guide to trace. Next came the machining setup. I set up a coordinate system to my liking, setting the stock size to the same size as the scrap plywood glue up I made earlier. I set up the first profile path to cut out the shape by selecting the sketch I made earlier and selecting a quarter inch end mill. Using the same end mill, I then used an adaptive clearing for the roughing operation to remove most of the surrounding material. This was the most time consuming cut. Next, I switched to a tapered end mill for 3D finishing. This path goes back and forth in parallel paths with very small step overs to achieve the fine details that we want. I added holding tabs and a final cutout path and then simulated all of them together to make sure it was doing what I wanted it to do. You can see here that I didn't accurately model the length of my end mills, so it's showing some machining crashes that won't happen in the actual operation. And finally, we can move on to the fun part. Here is a rookie mistake I made. I forgot to re-zero the z-axis after the tool change. This could have been a catastrophic mistake for this piece, but it didn't end up causing a huge amount of trouble. You'll see why later.
So back to my earlier mistake. You can see here that both the end mills I used were the exact same length. So by seating them fully in the router's collet, I put them at the same Z height with some minor variability for dust in the collet or something else like that. So in this case, I really lucked out, but I wouldn't recommend taking this approach if you don't want to mess up your projects. I finished the piece using Danish oil. I misplaced my good brushes and ended up just kind of sponging it into the crevices with an old brush, but overall I was pleased with the result. Thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe to the channel where I'll have more of my projects up in the future.